the only two inhabitants of the 75 gallon at this point are the South American bumblebee catfish. That stays hidden in this plastic hide in the center of the tank. And this common goldfish. I rarely get a very good look at the catfish. Now once a year it does come out and do loops on the glass for a while. But usually when the lights are on it stays in this hide. And since I always know where it's going to be I can use an extension on a turkey baster to deliver it some meaty foods. Here I'm giving it blood worms, frozen blood worms, and I also feed it frozen mysis shrimp and frozen adult brine shrimp. With only two inhabitants, the goldfish being rather large, probably over three inches, and the catfish perhaps two inches but much smaller in girth. A 75 gallon with a couple of larger hang on the back filters makes a pretty good tank. Of course with a gravel substrate it's not possible to keep live plants. Might be able to tie some epiphytic aquatic plants like Anubius to the driftwood, but softer plants like water wisteria, the goldfish makes short work of those, either uproots them or actually eats them. I tried tying some java moss to the driftwood, but that quickly deteriorated, probably from the goldfish nibbling on it and a lack of nutrients. I could cover the gravel substrate with sand and that might make it possible to have some sort of a fertilized substrate but probably just wait until my next setup for these two fish the tank does pretty good but with the odd shaped driftwood pieces, since they're not mounted on slate or any kind of flat bottom, they tend to fall over and I lose the, uh, the intent, which is to hide the intakes of the hang on the back filter, both of them, and also the heater. So, I want to do a, a water change, a bit of a gravel vacuum, and try to rearrange the hardscape and hide those items a little bit better. I did the water change and gravel vacuum and gave it a day to settle down. I added a couple more pieces of driftwood that I had allowed to dry out in case I wanted to use them for my next aquascape. Turns out I didn't need them so I put them back in this tank. The intakes of the hang on the back filter and the heater are hidden pretty good in this tank. After a while the driftwood will shift and they may be visible again. I also turn the heater down and I want to keep this tank at 70 degrees. Uh, the goldfish would be happy at much cooler temperatures but the minimum recommended temperature for the 
South American bumblebee catfish is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's what I'm going with.